What's up guys, Focus here. Today I sort of wanted to talk about a survival game called Survive the Nights. Now, you guys may know this game if you guys have been, you know, sort of close to survival games, you know. Um, this came out on Kickstarter a long time ago. I think it was like over a year ago. I have no idea. But uh, I sort of just wanted to talk about it because recently they had stress tests going on and I was playing it. Um, unfortunately... It's taken me a while to come out with this video because I wasn't in my room. I was uh, sort of camping out in the living room because we were getting my room redone. Anyways, back to the game. Um, I sort of just wanted to talk about like whether or not this game is actually a reliable survival game anymore. And the main reason why I say that is the fact that the game sort of like it, it, it like started to come out at the peak of survival games, right? Uh, whenever every survival game was, uh, like, not out yet. Like, Ark wasn't out yet. Um, what what other ones? Reign of Kings, I don't think, was out yet whenever this, like, one was announced. Um, I think Reign of Kings actually just got, <laughs> just got out whenever this came on Kickstarter. I have no idea. But anyways, it wasn't really, or it was, like, sort of a big thing. Like, so many YouTubers, I think even Frankie on PC made videos of this game. Um... Or he got sent footage of it, something like that. But now that survival games like Ark are out, you know, Reign of Kings are out, DayZ has been out for a long time. Um, I don't really see that as a reliable survival game anymore. Rust has had a shit ton of updates. It's probably the king of survival games right now. Um, now that all these games are out, though, I actually question myself whether or not Survivor the Nights is really good. Oh, yeah, H1Z1. I, why am I... <sighs> H1Z1 is more of a battle royale now, though. so, yeah. <laughs> but now that, like, all these survival games are out, though, like, I, I question myself, though, is this game really good? Like, I mean, sure, the game has its own uniqueness, you know, it's another game. It's not H1Z1, it's not Rust, it's not, you know, any of the other games. But I just don't really see the point in it anymore. Unless if it has something really crazy that any other survival game doesn't have, I just don't see the point. Like, I really don't. And I actually read a, um, a thread on a forum. I have no idea. I'll pop it up on screen if I can find it. But I remember the guy saying the same thing that I'm saying right now. Like, it's sort of dead now. The game has been in development for who, like... I said, like, it came out a year ago? I have no idea. I actually forgot I bought this game. I really did. I forgot that I paid on the Kickstarter and uh, have a paid membership or whatever on their website. I have, like, a, a paid badge or whatever. Anyways, it's been, like, a year or so, I think. And the game, the stress test kind of showed some stuff. Um, it doesn't seem like it's really, really far in development. Uh, it, there was, maybe they're, they're like hiding stuff, maybe that they're not showing everything, but I remember while I was doing the stress test, one of the developers was inside of the game, actually, and he was talking about how they don't have zombies currently in, because they were really wanting to, you know, perfect the AI, um, so they don't have that in, that's a key aspect of a survival game for zombies, um, but yeah, I just don't see the point in this game anymore. And I just wanted to sort of make this video to tell you guys, like, and ask you guys, do you guys think this game really has potential anymore? Because I remember everybody was so hyped for H1Z1. And H1Z1 came out, and then everybody was just like, no, you know, <laughs> in playing survival. Because uh, Battle Royale was so much bigger in the game. Survival was, like, so horrible in H1Z1. It really was. Um, I remember everybody was so hyped for Ark. Ark is still pretty good, though. So, like, the modding community that they added to it, like, you know, where you can just mod anything into it, that's a key plus, you know, in a game. Community-based mods really do help a game out. Ark is still doing pretty good. Um, DayZ went to the shitter. They do have an update coming out, point sixty for DayZ. I'm actually really hyped for it. They're adding a lot to the game, which is something that's surprising about Bohemia. You know, they never really add stuff to the game, so hopefully that's a plus. They're adding a shit ton, um, so yeah, but yeah, just let me know in the comments. Do you guys think this game still has potential or not? I That's all I'm asking in this video. That's really all the whole point to this video. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time though. Peace out.